I'm here to be an all-time great. You're now rocking with the best. Purping yellow, purping yellow, purping yellow, purping yellow. The Lakers repeat back-to-back -back title. Welcome to the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Oh, he's smoking hot. The latest Laker news. Another great Showtime feed. The greatest Laker show. This is going to be legendary for a long time. This is is the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Lakers all day. Go Lakers! What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby Baby. What's poppin'? It's Big Baby Jonathan here. Welcome to the latest edition of the Big Baby John the Sports Podcast. On, on today's show, I'm going to be previewing Game 5, NBA Finals, Lakers versus Heat. Game 5, let's talk about Lakers Nation. My thoughts about Game 5 to close out the series to be NBA champions. And we're wearing the Mamba jerseys, you know. So we're undefeated in those 4 no. So I want the Lakers to come out with tenacity, hustle, grit, grind, like I've been saying all year long for the playoffs. I want the Lakers to come out guns blazing. I want us to have that mindset of no more messing around, no more, oh, we'll turn no. We want to punch them in the mouth 30 and score 30 points early because when we score 30 points, we're 9-0. and you know. And when we have a lead going into the fourth quarter, we're 56-0. and Let's make it 10-0, ten, ten you know, make it 10-0 and at the first quarter and then 57-0. You know, we're 56 now, but if we win, if we win tomorrow, uh, we'll be 57. But I want to see LeBron James, Anthony Davis, you know, I want to see the young guys step up tomorrow, like Alex Caruso, Rondo, you know, Kyle Kuzma, Dwight Howard. I, Dwight Howard needs to play more. I know Frank Vogel took him out here and played eight minutes the other night. That's unacceptable. You got to play Dwight more. He brings energy, the hustle, the grit, the grind. And Laker Nation, I, I'm excited. You know what I mean? I'm really, 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 really excited. And um, I haven't experienced this since 2010. You know, I haven't got any sleep, as you can see. You know what I mean? I have had bags under my eyes. I haven't been sleeping because the opportunity is here for the Lakers to get this done and to experience this as a fan in the NBA Finals. It feels so great, man. Like, I know everybody's talking about job ain't done, job ain't done. I understand that. But as a fan, looking it throughout, you know, the finals and stuff, and it, it just feels amazing that we're one win away from an NBA championship, 17 championship, tying the Boston Celtics. And then Jeannie Buss would get her first um, title as an owner, women's owner of the Los Angeles Lakers. And put everything in perspective, this is the opportunity. We don't want to give Miami Heat any, 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 any more life. We gave him one game. We don't want to give him two, be 3 2, and then be all, here we go. This is the opportunity. LeBron's focused. Anthony Davis is focused. Frank Vogel's focused. All this, Anthony Davis focused said today in his press conference that he's still going to get his normal rest. He's still going to preparate, you know, and I have a feeling LeBron's going to text the team to tonight. And get the team rolling. Because last game, he texted the team a must win. And they performed at the highest level. You know what I mean? The performance at the highest level. You know, LeBron is doing great things. He has the mindset. He's doing the right thing. And he's right. He was talking about his resume. Us Laker fans don't care about your resume until you win the, as a Los Angeles Laker. You know what I mean? He's starting to understand what it's becoming a Laker. So I'm starting to get more and more respect for LeBron James. Yes, I said it. LeBron's attitude lately in the playoffs have been stuff I've been talking about. Him not playing around, not dancing, not no, 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 no. He's laser focused, and I like that about LeBron. He's being laser focused. I know at times I get on him, you know, at the end of the day, I want him to do better. You know what I mean? I know he had 28 points, 12 rebounds, 8 assists. I want him to push that 20 points to 30 points. You know what I mean? I want him to do, be more, I want him to be more aggressive from the start tomorrow, but I like his attitude at the press conference today. Same with Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis, you know, I mean, a lot of people, when we got Anthony Davis, earlier in the year, actually, excuse me, last off season, because the season, the 2021 season should be starting already. You know what I mean? It should be, yeah, should be starting already because this season has been the longest season I've been a part of as a fan. You know, crazy 2020 man with the whole passing Kobe, the pandemic, what's going on around the world, and the stoppage of play, and then restoppage of play, and then playing again. All in all, it's just been a crazy year, but as an NBA fan, it feels good that the NBA came back. You know, they did a great job. Adam Silver, great job for taking the NBA to the bow, man. You know what I mean? You guys have the right people around you guys to 
get the right research for the test and all that good stuff. You guys did a great job. Continued success, man. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I know job ain't done, but we're a really, 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 really excited as Laker fans, man. You know, because this season, I think once Kobe Bryant passed away, I think the Lakers shift their focus to honor him and win this championship, you know? They're saying all the right things. Job not done yet. Dwight Howard's saying that too. Job ain't done. LeBron, AD, Rondo, Frank Vogel. The whole team is, has that mindset of job ain't done yet. You know, and it's not. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's not finished. It's not finished. Not one bit. Because I expect Miami to come in. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Trying to swing. You know? That's why I, that's why I see Miami doing well. They're going to try to they're gonna start throwing haymakers and boop, boop. So I expect Lakers to, okay, shh, oh, get out of my way. Duck and bap, bap, hit him back. You know what I mean? Because I want to see, I want to see us just, okay, we're up 3 1. We were going to, because here's the thing the Lakers were wear the jerseys in game two and then game seven. So they said, okay, we don't want to push it to seven. So let's wear them game five. And here's the crazy thing I actually asked. Like the Lakers and Genie Bust on Twitter, and then a couple hours later they're wearing them. So, thank you, Lakers, for probably seeing my tweet. Appreciate you guys. LOL. Um, at the end of the day, man, I expect Miami to come out tomorrow to fight for everything. You know what I mean? It's gonna be interesting to see how Miami's gonna play. You know, I expect Jimmy Butler to compete at the highest level. I expect Bam at Bayou. I expect Tyler Hero, and I just expect Miami to come. You know, because here I expect Miami to come out swinging like I did, like I said earlier. They're going to come out swinging. Lakers have to come out in attack mode. And here's the thing. If you get up by 15 or 20, don't fall asleep. You got to punch them in the mouth. And here's the thing. I want to see us out-rebound Miami because I noticed when we out-rebound Miami, we win. But we get out-rebounded, we lose. I noticed that. I noticed that from games one, from games um, two and three, you know, and four. You know, even though we won, you know, we still we need to do a better job of Rebounding off its rebound, second chance points. But shout out to Alex Caruso, Rondo, key big time rebounds. Shout out to KCP, man. We need Danny Green, KCP, Rondo. We need the we need the role players step them because I noticed like a nation. Have you noticed, guys, that when LeBron AD turn up, the rest follow. So I want to see AD and LeBron say, okay, we're up three and one. This ain't getting past. Five, we, we're going to take the championship back to L.A. I want to see us come out and dominate, and I want to see us consistently play defense for the whole rest of the game from the start. I want to see us any lives. I want to see us smother, smother Miami, smother them, and just contain, close the lane, you know, take charges, deflect the pass lane, get out in transition, and when we force turnovers, get out in transition, it's fun to watch, you know. And I, I just, at the end of the day, it's, it's crazy that, like, I remember the last six, seven years, I was patient. You know, be positive with the – I've been positive with po – uh, excuse me. I've been positive with the front office, have faith in I still have faith in them. And here's the crazy thing. Rob Palenka didn't um, get executive of the year. It went to Lawrence Frank of the San Diego Clippers. Oh, you want a cookie? Congrats, Lawrence Frank. Okay. Everybody's asking me on Twitter and Snapchat and Facebook, what do you think about uh, Frank Vogel not winning uh, executive of the year? I'd rather win an NBA championship than an executive of the year. I'd rather win an NBA championship. So I'm not really worried about that. And along with the defense player of the year or the finals, and, or excuse me, not defense player of the year, Anthony Davis didn't win. That sucks. He didn't win it. LeBron didn't win MVP. Okay, cool. We're going to win NBA championship. So I don't care about those awards. I'd rather have an NBA championship. You know what I mean? AD doesn't care about defense player of the year. Where he'd rather win a championship. I like that mindset. You know what I mean? And here's the crazy thing. <sighs> Dwight's one win away from NBA championship, man. What Dwight Howard's been through last couple of years, man, you know, he, he he's one win away, and it would be a great, 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 great title for him, man, if he wins that championship with the Lakers, man. You know, I know a lot of times, a lot of the Lakers fans gave up on him. I didn't give up on him one bit. You know, I had faith in him from when he left the Lakers. I understood it, and it's a business. You know what I mean? So Dwight came for a circle, and he's back with the Lakers, and he may potentially win a championship tomorrow in Orlando where he first started his career, where he first got drafted. I know not the Magic, but where he – Grew up at, as in when he got drafted by the Magic in Orlando, Florida. That is crazy. If the White wins the championship, man, it's gonna be crazy. And Genie Bus too, man. It, it just, it just Genie Bus came for a circle, man. It, I mean, I'm proud of her for what she did this year. You know, through the ups and downs too. She had to fire her brother. She had to make decisions.
that were difficult, but she pushed through because the guidance and a mentorship of the late, great Kobe Bryant, you know, Kobe gave advice to Jeannie Buss, and then she followed through. You feel me? So at the end of the day, Jeannie Buss is great at what she does. I know a lot of people were bashing her all year from ESPN, Fox Sports, CBS, all the sports outlet channels bashing Jeannie Buss. And I had faith in her from day one. You know, you know, remember that, that Laker protest that everybody was at, even Clipper Darrell? I was the one saying – they're not going to – those protesters at the Lakers Staples Center, Lakers ain't going to listen to them because they said don't bring in Jason Kidd. Next hour they brought in Jason Kidd. You know what I mean? So I don't know why those fans were upset. You know what I mean? I had faith in this front office since day one. I've been through the thick and thin with this team, and I'm excited that we're one game away from the NBA championship. Man, you don't understand how excited I am. I know to get one possession at a time, one quarter at a time, but as a fan looking at – looking at – Realistically, um, it's just crazy. We're one win away from the NBA championship. Like, you know how excited I haven't got sleep. You know, I've just been thinking about this game all, all week since we won game four. I've been thinking about, okay, game five, game five. I'm excited, you know, and for us to win this um, NBA championship, hold up number 17 trophy, man. Like I said earlier, we just got to have that mom mentality tomorrow and say, okay, let's Punch him in the mouth and not let him. I don't care if you have to blow his team up by 30 to 50 points. You know what I mean? But I expect um, – I really, really, really expect Miami to come out and play their best game. You know what I mean? I expect them to come swinging. You know, I expect Jimmy Butler. I expect uh, Bam Adebayo. I expect the Miami Heat to compete, but I feel like they're going to figure it out because that's what they always do. They always um, figure the team out and then they turn it up. But here's the thing I want to see. I want to see Anthony Davis – set the tone early defensively. Because if he sets the tone defensively early, our defense turns up. Because I noticed that about Anthony Davis. When he, he's locked in defensively and doesn't worry about scoring because we got LeBron and other guys that can score too, I want to see AD say, defense is mine. Because he after game three, he said, I'm going to guard Jimmy Butler, hold him 22 points. That's first team all defense right there, boy. I love Anthony Davis' attitude. And here's the thing. People that doubted us when we got Anthony Davis from the ESPN writers, and Ramona Shelburne, Jackie McMullen, Brian Windhorst saying that we're not – the Clippers are a better team. A lot of people picked the Clippers this year. You know what I mean? A lot of people picked the Clippers this year to win the NBA championship. And people picked the Denver Nuggets, the Houston Rockets, Milwaukee Bucks, and I saw Toronto and Philly. Those are five teams uh, – five, pe- five teams that people predict to win the NBA championship. On that list, none of, the, none of them had the Lakers. Even, I believe um, – I think Sam – Amico or Sam Hammock? Yes, yeah, Sam Hammock from one of the sports outlet channels was like, actually, excuse me, Chris Mannix, you know, a Boston Celtic reporter because he was Boston Celtic. He's preaching Jason Tatum for AD. Boston has the more assets than Lakers. He said we're going to make the playoffs once we got AD. We're one winner in NBA championship. So people that doubted us all year from when we got AD till now, don't switch up. Don't say, oh, I've been new legs going to win. And Jalen Rose jumped off the ship. Stephen A. Smith jumped off the ship. So what I'm saying is, so when the Lakers win the title tomorrow, I fully expect the Lakers to win the title tomorrow. And I expect us to hold up that 17 championship. I, you expect, I'm going to let you guys know now, when the Lakers win the title, I'm going to have a two-hour podcast. Maybe even one hour, two hour, three hours, depending on if I'm, have the energy, which I'll have the energy for it. You know what I mean? I'm going to be, I'm going to be excited. I'll bring fans on. I'll bring people on. You know, one by one, you know what I mean? I'll let you guys know more details about that. But I'm really excited, man. You don't understand. Or one went away. And I just want to see us tomorrow to lock in early. You know what I mean? I know there's times on on the, in the finals where there's a game of runs. But I want us to push through those runs. Because sometimes, I'm going to keep it real, LeBron's body language sets the tone early as well. You know, sometimes he'll put his head down off a defensive play or just, you know, don't put your head down when you're having a bad quarter. And when you turn the ball over, get back on defense. You know what I mean? And here's the thing, second chance points, too. We had did a great job in second chance points with Rondo Caruso getting second chance points, key rebounds. You know what I mean? And force Miami Heat to drive. Force Jimmy Butler to drive. Because if you get B on the back end, Dwight Howard, Anthony Davis going to help. Even LeBron's going to help. And LeBron's going to set the tone early tomorrow. I have all the faith in LeBron to turn it up tomorrow because he has that. he's having that mindset of closing this game. He looks focused. 
You know, he ain't playing around. He ain't doing none of that. So I expect LeBron to turn it up tomorrow. And um, I really expect this team to get it done tomorrow. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, man, one game away from the NBA championship, Laker Nation. So what do you guys think were the keys to the game for tomorrow? Put them in the comment section down below. And I'm going to end this Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. But make sure you click the link in my description on Instagram. Get you a Big Baby Jonathan shirt. Use promo code Big Baby Jonathan 24 And until then, Laker Nation, talk to you guys tomorrow after game five. Peace out. One, two, three. Mamba.